Okay, so today I am talking about six tips to stop or minimize overeating. If you're new here, my name is Elena. I am owner of Elena Nicole Health. I am a certified life, health, and weight loss coach, and I help women who want to lose weight but also really want to create a healthy, realistic, sustainable overall lifestyle. I have a program, Healthy in 10, where I help you lose 10 pounds in 10 weeks with 10 simple steps. So if you're interested in that, go to the link in my bio and we can definitely talk more about that. Six tips to overcome or minimize overeating. So number one is if we don't want to overeat, we have to identify what is regular eating to us. What is the ideal? We can't get there if we aren't super clear on what that is. So for me, I always say it's eating more than we intend to eat. So we have to have like an idea of what we intend to eat. So I like to have a clear plan of what I want to be eating so I know if I'm overeating. And something else that I'll add in here is I always say like know why you want to do it. It has to be really, really compelling to actually push you to not have that second, third, fourth, or whatever it is, pizza, pizza or another cookie. It has to be a reason that really resonates with you. I know for me, I hate the sick, bloated feeling when I overstuff myself. In the, in the moment, it fe seems like a really, really good idea, but I also know that I really don't like the results of it. So make sure that you have a reason that is going to drive you forward. Number two sounds so simple, but it's so important. Slow down when you're eating and check in with yourself. I always say this to my daughter, she's seven, and when she wants to have more food, usually it's like asking me for cookies, cake, or ice cream, or candy, or something like that. I'm like, Ava, check in with your body. How do you feel? Do you actually want to eat more food? Are you sure? Are are you still hungry? And that's so important for us, obviously, as well, because we want to make sure, like, are we content? Are we kind of full? Do we really want more food? Number three, this is a really tangible, tactical tip, something I do all of the time, and I recommend all of my clients do. Portion out your food before you eat your first bite. So we are actually thinking intentionally with our brain and not with our hands. How much do we actually want to eat? And we're actually separating it from the serving dish or bowl. Something I always recommend is not to eat from the serving dish bag or bowl. I give this example all the time how many times have we gone to like a Mexican re Mexican restaurant we sat down with the bowl of chips and salsa and all of a sudden like we've gone through three baskets and we literally have no idea how much we ate number four is beware of your brain our brain is always going to try to get us to eat more food more food and more food why why because we get a dopamine hit every time we eat especially if we are eating something that has processed sugar or flour so it is going to want more and more of it so just make sure that you know that you are aware that, that is going to happen because then we can overcome that. We can acknowledge it. We can just let it be that our brain is going to tell us to have more and more and we can still decide that we are not going to. Number five, this is not going to be a popular one, but watch the over drinking. The more that we drink, it literally shuts down the decision making part of our brain, our prefrontal cortex. So we are going to be way less likely to make good choices when it comes to eating. I am absolutely not saying you don't have to stop drinking if you do not want to, but I would just encourage another reason to watch the over drinking because you are going to be way more likely to then overeat. If anybody else has had a very late night at a uh, restaurant or fast food place that is open late for that specific reason, that is why they're open. Because when we drink, we eat more foods that we likely don't want to be eating. And number six, just remember you are building a habit either way, either overeating past the, the point where you want to, eating more than you intended to, or stopping when you realize that you are content and you no longer want to continue eating. We're building a habit either way, and every choice is getting us either closer closer or further away to our goals. So just reminding yourself that in the moment. My favorite thing to do is to think about and visualize how am I going to feel if I do this? How, how am I going to feel if I don't do this? And which one is going to get me closer to my goals?